Hey guys, what's up? It's, uh, it's October 20th. We're not getting in a deer stand today. We're waiting until the 30th, I believe. Um, just holding out for the weather to be right, the deer to be right, cameras to be right. Um, but wanted to do a quick video on the Sitka system. I know there's a lot of opinions out there, so I'll just give you mine. So, who is Sitka good for? It's, um, if you're gear, gear oriented, you want the best gear you can have. Um, I believe Sitka is that. It's well thought out, it's engineered, it's got pockets in the right place. Um, the right amount of pockets. I strictly bow hunt, so the sleeves on my jackets and coats matter a lot to me that I'm not hitting my string on my uh, sleeve if it's too bulky. And Sitka, they they think about that stuff. That's planned out. So every you know, it's form fitting on my forearm. Um, nothing gets in the way of my bowstring. The system's great because I can wear it throughout the season, um, just by changing out base layers and the way I layer it and whatnot. So the uh, other thing is is. <clears throat> I don't know that a camo pattern matters that much as long as you're breaking up your your outline I think you're good um, and sub alpine is what's appealing to me I mean, and that's why I wear it it's appealing to me the sub alpine pattern that being said I hunt in the Midwest and Sitka they don't design it as much for whitetail hunters um, most of their whitetail gear, their really warm stuff is in the Fanatic line and the Elevated 2 pattern. But I built a system that works great, so I thought I'd share it with you. So, um, first of all, I wear the heavyweight bottom base layer and the core lightweight hoodie base layer. Um, the important thing with your base layers is that you're not wearing cotton underneath of them. They're designed to keep moisture away from your body. Um, in themselves, they're not that warm, especially that lightweight hoodie. Um, that thing you can wear by your by itself early season, <clears throat> but its its real appeal is in keeping moisture away. And then part of my system that's not Sitka um, in late season, I add in is I for you military guys. I wear polypropylene on top of my Sitka base layers, um, pan sand top, and that provides a ton of warmth. Um, if you don't know what polypropylene is or polypros, I would urge you to find out. I, <clears throat> it's spectacular stuff. Um, so on top of that, on my pants, I have the Apex pants. and. I can wear the heavyweight bottom, the Poly Pro, and the Apex pant down to like 35 degrees and, and be comfortable. They're they're lightweight, they're durable, they don't get a bunch of burrs stuck all over them. Um, they, they fit great. Um, I mean, everything about it, they're just well engineered. All the pockets are in the right places. You have cargo pockets with pockets inside the cargo pockets. Um, they do come with knee pads for you saddle hunters. So my knee pads are out of mine right now, but <clears throat> when I'm in a saddle a lot more, I will have them back in just for that. And then uh, on the top, I wear the Traverse Cold Weather Hoodie, which I think is new for this year. Um, that thing is spectacular. It's got like a Berber fleece inside of it. It's super warm. Um, like I said earlier, the sleeves are form-fitting so that I don't have to worry about my bowstring. And uh, just everything about it, I love I love that Traverse system. <clears throat> um, when the weather really drops down and it gets really cold. So I have the um, Kelvin Light down jacket and the uh, Traverse cold weather bibs that also have that Berber fleece. And... <clears throat> this is where the appeal of Sitka comes in so much. Um, 
I uh, pack in a lot of my clothes. I don't like to wear everything while I'm walking through the woods. Um, I don't want to get hot. I don't want to sweat. And Sitka gear, it's lightweight. It's easily packable. Um, you know, it's designed, especially the subalpine pattern, it's designed for um, hunters who are in the mountains and they're packing in their gear so weight matters and I'll tell you even in the whitetail woods weight matters my pack is not super heavy even with that stuff in there it's not filling up my entire pack where it's just clothes packed in there yeah, everything about it's great and then um, I also have just the traverse beanie and that's better for cold weather um, which I'll wear it more even when or warm weather not cold weather I'll, I'll wear it more even when it is cold just because I can hear through it and that matters to me a lot when the, I do get really cold I have the jet stream, jet stream beanie also and the net gator and that net gator is spectacular um, the system costs a little bit but it's not that bad when you think of terms of what we spend as deer hunters you know spending a couple thousand dollars on your bow and a couple hundred dollars on your arrow broadhead luminox setup and your tree stands and your saddles your leases your gas your tags you know why would you want to skimp on your comfort while you're doing what you love to do that's kind of my view on sitka um it's worth it invest in your passion invest in yourself and it makes the experience more enjoyable um I realize it's not for everybody. People will have jokes about it on both sides. Um, but in my experience, it's it's wonderful stuff. So let me know if uh, you've had a similar thing with trying to build a Sitka system in, in a sub-alpine pattern for the Midwest deer woods or what your thoughts are um, on Sitka. Thanks. We will see you soon. Can't wait to get back in a tree. And I got an arrow just itching to what. Or I got an arrow just waiting to be put into a deer. So uh, talk soon. See you later.